Google Ads is too expensive. I tried Google Ads and it just didn't work or I don't need Google Ads for my business. These are all the top excuses which you may hear or you may have used yourself when someone asks whether you advertise on Google Ads. And I hate to say it, but all of those excuses are wrong because the issue is not Google Ads, the issue is how you created your Google Ads campaign or how you optimized your Google Ads campaign. And the reason for why I know this is because since 2010, I've been successfully creating and optimizing profitable Google Ads campaigns and seen time and time again where Google Ads and not Facebook is the core driver of business growth. So today in this video, I'm gonna take you through the four core strategies that you need to be using in Google Ads to ensure that your campaigns will be profitable. And just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And as I said, I've been creating successful and profitable Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So if you would like to keep up to date with what is working in Google Ads right now so that you can use it to grow your own business, why don't you give me a quick subscribe? Thank you so much. So with all that said, let's get into today's teaching. And the first point is, is that with Google Ads, you need to start slow and then scale. And in any new Google Ads campaign, the most important days are the first 60 to 90 days. And the reason for that is because over these first three months in any Google Ads campaign, what you're actually trying to work out is which are the products which will sell best in Google Ads, what are the keywords that will convert, and then finally you need to actually start to collect the data audiences that you need. So this is all about the different audiences and also the different demographic groupings that are gonna be the best converting ones for your Google Ads campaign. And it is important to note that the demographics and the different audiences that convert in Google Ads may actually be different to your current customer profiles. Now, like any marketing activity that you take, the goal is to always make a profit. However, in those first 60 to 90 days of a new Google Ads campaign, even if you break even, that is a great result. Now, I've seen countless times, and more often than not, a new campaign be profitable from week one. However, if that doesn't happen for you, don't be too stressed, because sometimes it does take a little bit longer for you to break even, but once you've broken even, you can then very, very quickly scale with Google Ads. And the reason for that is because it is data-driven, and it's not driven off different images, and different ad copies. So it's less likely that you'll get a trend and you'll see a little spike and then you'll see a drop like you can do on Facebook. With Google Ads, once you've created those data sets and you know the keywords to target and the products that are gonna convert, it's just a matter of scaling your campaign so that you see further and further success. And just in case you're wondering with what should be the minimum budget that you should start at, because you do wanna make sure that you have a large enough budget so that you can get an initial data. And at a bare minimum, I would be saying is that you need to be generating at least 10 clicks a day. Now ideally, that should be up to at least 30 or 50 clicks a day so that you get more data. But if you are on a tight budget, as long as you're getting 10 clicks a day, that'll give you more than enough data that you need over those first 90 days. So if your average cost per click is around about $1.50, you would then need to start with a starting budget of $15 a day. And if you don't know how to find what your average CPC is, all you need to do is in your Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings, then go to Keyword Planner, and then when you're in Keyword Planner, just type in some of the initial keywords that you wanna use, and then that will bring out your CPC. So that's how you can work out what your initial budget should be. And if you stay around to the end of this video, I'll show you a link on how you can complete proper keyword research. And the second strategy for success with Google Ads is that you need to set up multiple ad groups using the one keyword theme method. And the one keyword theme method is the process where you have ad groups set around only one keyword theme. And the benefit of this is that it works wonders to actually increase your keyword quality score and your ad quality rank. And the reason for why this is so important is because that will then help your ads get more visibility and will also allow you to get those clicks at a cheaper price. And the reason for this is because in the Google auction, Google rewards advertisers who show high intent. And what I mean by that is that you're displaying ads and landing pages that match the high intent of what the searcher is actually searching for 
in their Google search. So right now I'm gonna show an example of how that would look in a Google search campaign. But if you're actually wanting to find out how those would look in a Google shopping campaign, stay around to the end of this video and I'll actually show you how to segment and set up your shopping campaigns correctly. So this is what your Google Ads campaign and ad group structure should look like in that we have your total Google Ads account, and then below that, you'll have the different campaigns, which are like your core product categories or your core service categories. And then underneath each of those campaigns, you'd have your individual ad groups. Now I've just shown an example of two, but each campaign could have up to you know, 10, 15, 20 different ad groups. It really just depends on the number of different keyword themes that you're gonna be targeting. And then under each of those ad groups, you have your one keyword theme, which is then going to your individual ad copies and your landing pages. So let's just say, for example, you're actually marketing an online clothing store. Your different campaigns would be around men's clothes, women's clothes, and then maybe men's shoes and women's shoes. And then when you get down to your ad groups in the men's campaign, you would be showing your different t-shirts and jeans. As I said, you could then have other ad groups in and around jumpers or suit jackets or trousers. And then with your women's clothes, you have your dresses and your skirts. And then obviously you can follow the process through men's shoes and women's shoes. And then from there, we have our individual keyword themes. So you can see in this example of the t-shirts, we've only got keywords in and around men's t-shirts. And like the jeans, we've only got keywords around the denim jeans or men's jeans. And same as we move across for women's dresses, men's shoes and women's shoes. And the real power in this is that when someone actually goes through and searches, say for example, men's cotton t-shirts, they will be shown an ad which is specifically around men's cotton t-shirts and you can actually direct them to a landing page which is all about men's cotton t-shirts. And what this does is this actually increases the user experience because when they click on your ad, they're going to the direct product that they have interest in. So if the men has actually searched men's cotton t-shirts, they're not taken to your homepage or to a product page showing women's dresses or even men's shoes. It's going direct from their search term all the way down to their ad copy and the landing page is following the one keyword theme. So that's what we mean when we say by setting up your account using the correct structure, having one keyword themes. So after you've got the correct structure for your campaign, using that one keyword theme method, the next strategy to ensure the performance of your Google Ads account is to make sure that you're focusing your optimizations on the highest spending ad groups. Now this sounds simple, but I'm amazed by the amount of time that people waste trying to optimize individual keyword themes or ad groups that only account for 5% of their total account spend. So what the principle is here is that we wanna focus our optimizations on where we're spending the most money. And the reason for this is simple. If you can improve the campaign or the ad group performance, where you're spending the most money, you're gonna be seeing the quickest results increase in your Google Ads account. So the quickest way to achieve this is just go into your ad groups. And then when you're in your ad groups is to filter it down by cost. And then you can quickly see where you're spending the most amount of money. And then from there, we just quickly go over to our conversions and our cost per conversion. And straight away, we can actually see if we focus act activity on these top two spending ad groups, we will actually quickly increase the total performance of our account. And then the fourth and final strategy that you need to be using to ensure success with your Google Ads campaign is to actually have a schedule of what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account. For success in Google Ads, you need to know exactly what you need to be checking and optimizing in your Google Ads account every single week. Because there are some actions in Google Ads that you need to complete every 72 hours or twice a week. And then there are other optimized actions that you don't need to check or complete in Google Ads until every 90 days. So if you are completing the optimizations that you need to complete twice a week or every 72 hours, and you're only doing them every 90 days, or if you're actually chopping and changing those optimizations that you need to do every 90 days, every week, you're gonna see disaster and poor performance in your Google Ads account. And this is the exact reason for why I've actually created my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is my secret weapon that I still use every single day when I'm optimizing Google Ads accounts. And let me show you how this works. With my Google Ads optimization checklist, I actually just go through and I've got this full list of every single optimization action that you'll need to complete in your Google Ads account. And what we've also got here is I've actually listed how often you need to complete this optimization. So whether it's every 72 hours, every week, 
every month or every 90 days. So for example, with a search term audit, this is something that needs to be done every 72 hours. And what you can do is once you've actually completed these actions of adding in extra negative keywords and also actually adding in some extra long tail search terms to target, you can actually tick this off. And then if you want to, you can also go through and write some different optimization notes. And then you just need to go down the list one by one to see if this is something that you've needed to complete. And once you've actually checked these, you can write a little note in here and actually say completed the task on the 30th of June. So then you know that you don't need to complete this task again this month. And if you want to get a free copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist so that you can start using it in your own Google Ads account so that you know exactly what optimization actions you need to complete every 72 hours, every week, every month and every 90 days, all you need to do is to go through and follow the link in the description below. And that'll take you through so that you can get your Google Ads optimization checklist right now. Now remember I did say earlier in the video, if you wanted to learn more about how to complete proper keyword research for your Google Ads campaigns, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you'd like to see how to actually go about adding in proper product segmentation and also setting up your shopping campaigns in the correct way with the correct structure, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in one of these two videos right now. See ya.